Shalom dear friends, I hope that you are well. Um, I want to send out this video with the latest letter called Color um, at his table. Hopefully you have read the letter and if you have not, you can visit our website or download our app and then you can read it there. So I want to share with you a personal story of just a little testimony um, of something that Abba has been doing in my life recently, very recently, <laughs> um, that really goes with this letter. So the letter is about um, the fact that God is color and God wants to reveal himself to us as color. And, you know, he wants to pour his, his color, his, his joy, his fullness, his blessing into the pale and shadowy and, and dark places of our lives. And he wants to make it colorful and beautiful. And that is who he is. When we bring the pale and the gray areas of our lives to him, he makes it something beautiful and he pours himself into it and he changes it. And so he desires that we know him as color, as the God who makes everything beautiful, as the God who is the, the artist of our of our lives. And, and he wants us to bring our lives as a canvas before him so that he can do something beautiful from it. So I, I recently have received this message um, from the Father and um, as I've been spending time at his table, as we are busy with this series at his table, um, frequently in time of prayer, I will just come and I ask, Father, what is on your heart? What is it that you want to share? What is it that you want to speak to me? And, um, and this is the, the revelation that he gave me about color um, last when, when I was spending time at his table. And so yesterday, uh, during the time where we were doing our weekly grocery shopping, we were driving through the streets of Maldonado in here in Uruguay where we live now. And um, I just clearly, clearly heard the voice of Father speaking to me quite unexpectedly. And the words that I heard him saying was, I want you to pick up a paintbrush and start painting. And I want you to use it as an instrument of war and worship in the season that you find yourself in. And I thought to myself, what? <laughs> This is not something that has ever crossed my mind or something that I've ever pursue, pursued or tried or um, I've never painted before. I've never even thought of doing it. Um, and um, so I was thinking, Abba, am I hearing you right now? Just so out of the blue. And, um, and um, I asked him for three confirmations to, to show me um, three different pictures of, um, of a paintbrush. And I said, then, I will, I will be certain that I heard from you. And he smiled at me and he said to me, oh, you of little faith. And he then showed me two pictures of um, paintbrushes. Um, and I think the third one was just um, for me to have the faith to believe him. So um, as we were driving through the street, I saw two different places on a billboard and um, on graffiti on the wall. I saw these pictures of, of a paintbrush. And um, I asked my husband to take me to a, um, to a store to, to buy some paint <laughs> and I, I went in and I bought some watercolor paint and, and we came home and we unpacked the groceries and I was so, so excited to, to take out the, the brushes and the paint and to, to start painting. And um, I, I started painting immediately and the kids were sitting around me and we were having a good time. And wow, I was, I was so blessed by what came out of it and it was so enjoyable and fun for me um, to do this. And so when the father gave me the message that he said to me, I want you to take the paintbrush and start painting, um, I experienced that he said that there's a generational blessing in our bloodline that is lying dormant and I'm not using it. And he said to me, if you want to receive this gift, you are open to receive it. Um, I give it to you. And this message really blessed me because I realized that so many times we can be so focused on the, you know, the dark demonic assignments that comes through our bloodline, whether it's rejection or fear or whatever it may be. Um, we sometimes we, you know, we pray through that and we war through those things as as the generational giants stand up against you as you pursue your promised land. But many times we forget about the generational blessings that are in our bloodline. There are anointings, there are mantles, there are gifts, there's dreams and visions that lie there dormant. And if we don't seek God about them, we won't walk in it. So my question to you is today, what blessings are in your generational bloodline that Father wants to release to you that you might not be walking in, not 
Maybe you're not even aware of it. And um, I was not aware of this blessing that Father wanted to release to me. And, and as I sought him in prayer, staying at his table, he revealed this to me. And so I want to encourage you to stay at his table, to stay in a place of prayer and seeking him because there's no limit to what he can do for you and what he can reveal to you and what he can really bless you with when you stay in a place of prayer and in his presence. So there's beautiful possibilities and opportunities and ideas and things that he wants to release to us as we seek him. So I really want to encourage you to seek him because maybe you feel um, at this stage of your life, <laughs> you maybe your life is a bit colorless and your life is a bit pale and a bit gray. But I want to encourage you that God is color and he wants to pour himself as color into your life and he wants to do something beautiful to you. Maybe that's giving you a new idea. Maybe that's a new a birth of a new business or a new hobby or something. I don't know what it is. But I, I want to encourage you to seek God about the generational blessings that's in your bloodline so that the beauty and the glory and the, the living seed that he placed in just out of your bloodline is not dormant, but that you walk in it. So it was for me a joy. You know, I've discovered now a new hobby, a new way that I can express what God puts inside of my heart, a new way that I can worship him and a new way of warfare. Because when we walk in our in our in the blessings and in the gifts that God gives to us, it's a form of spiritual warfare a very important form of it because as we do these things our focus is completely on him so i just want to share with you just um this is the first um the first painting that i've made <laughs> um yeah please know that i was quite surprised by what came out because i i have said over and over again my family all of them are witnesses of this that when it comes to drawing or painting or art i really did not stand in in, in that line to receive that gift because I, I cannot even draw a, a, a simple picture of a person and it looks just funny to me. I, um, to me, I, I always said this, that drawing is not one of my talents. And so when God came and he, he told me these words, I want you to start painting, I was really surprised by it because I feel that that was not a talent that I had received. And so sometimes God decides to release something to you that's really not within your ability and it's just something that he blesses you with. And so there's really no limit to what can God can do in your life, what he can do in you and what he can do through you if you seek him. And so um, we should not limit God, you know, he's not limited by, by anything. Um, and simply if we believe and we step out in faith to obey him, he can, he can release to you um, beautiful blessings. So for me, this was just a beautiful, um, yeah, something that I walked out in my own personal life to to just experience God moving through um, to helping me and creating this picture. Um, and so it is inspired by um, by James one verse twelve. And um, yeah, it's a it's just a picture of the of the crown, the victor's crown that we receive when we pass the test and when we go through the trials with Him and we go through the desert seasons. There's a promise that He gives us a promise of his abundance, a promise of abundant life, a promise of a land flowing with milk and honey. And if we're faithful to go through the desert with him and we seek him, um, we will receive a crown, a victor's crown. We'll have victory over the deserts and the dead bones and the things in our lives. And, and they will, there's a promise of a beautiful harvest, um, a garden of intimacy with him. And so we receive this promise and we receive this victor's crown as we seek him. So I really want to encourage you in your storms and um, in your struggles, even if you feel sometimes like you're walking around the same mountain again and again and again, keep on seeking God because he has something beautiful for you um, that he wants you to give birth to. And um, yeah, God is for you and the things that he has for you is planned to prosper you and to give you a hope and a future. So I want to encourage you to seek God and spend some time praying and asking him about the generational blessings in your bloodline um, because this is the second time that I experienced something like this. The previous time God had told me I want you to join the heavenly choir and I want you to start singing and I would always joke about this because I, when we were little my brother would always mock me and say um, rather don't sing because you sing falsely and, and when God told me I want you to start um, joining the heavenly choir he released 
um, my voice and he released a, a voice for me to sing and to worship him. And so this is now the same that has happened with starting to paint. Um, I believe that, that when we seek him, he wants to reveal beautiful things to you. Um, he wants to give you a double portion, a double blessing of anointing. And um, God has been speaking to me, and you will also read this in the letter, um, frequently about the Joseph mantle. And the Joseph mantle is a multicolored mantle. And so God wants to release things to us. Maybe you have walked in one area of your life, maybe in the prophetic or maybe, you know, in one thing. But now God wants to pour out more over you. He wants to give you a multicolored mantle that involves different things. Um, you know, there's no limit to, to, to God. He wants to, he wants us to walk in every area of our lives in a place where we worship him, where we exalt him. And he wants his kingdom to come in our lives in every, every area. So <clears throat> I want you to seek God and to ask him, what is it that, what is the multicolored mantle that he wants to give to you? What is the new colors um, that he wants to pour into your life? Maybe it co comes in the form of a newborn or a new idea or a new hobby or a new business or a new way of praying or a new prayer tongue or whatever it may be, what God has for you, I want to encourage you to seek Him for your portion. Do not stop seeking Him, if, even if you have walked around the same mountain for years, don't stop because God has a beautiful portion for you. And if you seek Him for it, He will, He will, He will restore everything that the enemy has stolen from you because He has a beautiful land, a land of milk and honey just for you that He planned for you and prepared for you. And if we seek Him and keep on seeking Him, if we set our minds and we keep it set to follow after Him, He will reveal beautiful things to us. And so I believe that this is something that God wants to pour into our lives, especially after a time of, of really going through the fire, <laughs> through the, after a time of going through the storm and, and facing difficulty. God wants to release joy gifts to us to restore our joy and to bring us into that sweet fellowship of His presence. And I bless you in this day. I bless you with, with what God has for you. I bless you with your portion that He has in store for you, that you will walk in this gift and in this double blessing that He wants to pour out over your life. And I bless you that God will fill your life with color, the color from Him and the color that comes from Him. Not just color as we know it in this world, but the color of the Spirit and that your life will be filled with color and that your canvas will be something that is created by the King of Kings. So I bless you until next week.